A few of you have asked recently whether I have some hypertube blueprints, and truth be told, I don't tend to use hypertubes. As many of you already know, I opt to go with trains in all of my Let's Plays, and we've just reached that point um, in our current Let's Play. So subsequently, today we're going to be breaking down how to set up three hypertube setups that you may want to include in your factory. First, we're going to talk about the junctions so that you can traverse your factory with much more ease. And then we're going to be talking about using a hypertube accelerator rather than a hypertube cannon to allow you to accelerate yourself to wherever you want to be. And then finally, I'm going to talk to you about how you can use a hypertube as an elevator within your factory to go up to the desired floors. And I will be building all of these in a blueprint designer so that you can follow this system and create your own blueprints using this. Or alternatively, if you want to save yourself a few minutes, you can support me on Patreon and you will get access to those blueprints anyway. The hypertube junction is the first one that we're going to do. And it's really simple to build, especially with the blueprint designer, because we can follow these little grids here. So for example, with this, we're going to take our hypertube along and place it on the dead center part here. And then from here, we're going to go two large, well, four small grids, as you can see here, and then two across uh, onto each of the crosses either side of the middle line. This is going to give us the right placement for a junction. And from here, you can split these off however you wish. And we're going to add our hypertube entrances. Now you can s place this and connect a previous hypertube uh, entrance to this. I'm going to keep it simple by adding a entrance here and we're going to connect these up. I am using pack utility to give me unlimited power. And from here we can place this down. Uh, this is snapping as a blueprint but you can use the normal default mode to place this where you want. And now when you're entering in the hypertube, you need to make sure that you're pressing left or right, depending on which direction you want to go as you're leaving the first section. There you go. But as you can see, this is a really simple and easy to do blueprint that allows you to traverse your factory. We can also then change this into an accelerator with relative ease. The idea behind the accelerator is that we have three entrances, one going into the junction and then one that leads back around to the front entrance and then the third entrance for the hypertube will lead off into your network or into a cannon, so to speak. The accelerator takes the same concept as the junction that we've just done. So we're going to press the A key to go left whenever we're going around the last bend. And as you can see, we're going to build up that momentum and then it's going to fling us out through the right hand hole once we re reach the optimum speed. Whoops, I thought that was deep water. Building this is going to be very simple because all we're going to do is take the junction that we've already built and then change what we've got going on. The first thing that I'm going to do is remove this hypertube. So we have the entrance and we're going to use this as the exit. This can either head into another network or we can shoot it upwards. And then the next thing that we're going to want to remove is this hypertube. We're going to connect it, one in front, followed by deleting the back support. And we're going to place an entrance just here. This allows us to choose left or right. And from here, we're going to try and make this a little bit smaller. From here, we're going to bring this back around to the front entrance, but we need to have the exit of this line. If we go in the middle here, just in front, you need to have a little bit of a space so that we can be shot out and then enter here. 
And we're going to start pressing the left key when we're coming around this bend. So if you need a little bit more space, do so. Because if you do it over here, you're going to slow down and eventually stop yourself. But this here is the basic system that you're going to need for the accelerator. And here we are. This time I'm going to aim at the deep water, so hopefully we don't die. I'm going to enter and press on the left key as we're coming around. And you can see we're slowly getting faster. And then we can choose to leave at whichever point we want. And finally, we have the elevator. Guys, if you are finding this video helpful, please do hit the thumbs up. And obviously, if you do want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're going to build this one, but you can see it's pretty simple. We have a few floors placed and we've got two entrances. You need one entrance for every floor that you have. So first floor is going to require one, second floor is going to require one. Let's get over to the blueprint designer. To build the elevator, the first thing that you're going to want to place is a wall. We're going to go with just the basic wall. We're going to go five high. The first floor can be as little as two walls high and then any floor above that for this is going to have to be three walls high, which I think is acceptable. We're now going to grab our hypertube support. Now I'm going to place this four spaces away from the wall. And I'm also going to, at this point, grab our hypertube and I'm going to run it up using the wall support up to the next floor. The reason why I'm not using the wall holes for this is that sometimes you can get stuck inside the foundation and then you have to uh, use the suicide command and start over, which doesn't really work if you're trying to go up and down a building. Next, we're going to place another hypertube support just above this uh, wall. We're going to have this as an unpowered just wall support on its own and this one here is going to be another hypertube entrance which is going to take us to the next floor using the same technique as below. At this point we're going to connect our entrances to power and save this. This is the basic system. We'll place it just here. First, I'm going to go to the middle floor by holding down the left key. There we go. And then we're going to try and go up on the right hand side with the D key. And as you can see, this works perfectly. If you do not have enough space uh, between the floor and the entrance above, you're going to find that you're going to get sucked into the uh, the next hypertube entrance. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our solars, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Treble, as well as our Lunars, the Calamity Ben, Star, Shoku, the Yemen Wolf, and that dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the City Rat. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.